Nonprofits that help fight childhood hunger are preparing for the next winter storm. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains how Kids Food Basket makes sure there's enough food. The staff at Kids Food Basket is busy packing additional items to last through the weekend. When a winter storm is in the forecast, the staff at Kids Food Basket picks up the pace. We have a, a couple dozen people here right now packing healthy sack suppers to be delivered tomorrow. Fingers crossed that they're school tomorrow in preparation for the long weekend. Austin Ruloffs, the vice president of programming, says they're packing additional food because of the winter storm. Every day there's school, we make sure we're there with a healthy sack supper, a healthy evening meal. Serving about 10,000 meals right now across our four counties. Uh, but we know that food can be hard to come by, especially when schools are closed. The Martin Luther King Jr. Day holiday on Monday meant the nonprofit was already expecting additional need. We knew this holiday was coming up. Uh, we were going to be serving thousands of weekend meals on Friday already for, for students. And so we wanted to bump that timeline up and be able to serve those meals on Thursday instead to make sure that the students had something healthy over the, over the long three-day break. Kids Food Basket focuses on providing healthy, fresh food, which can be expensive to purchase, but provide essential nutrients. We know that oftentimes processed foods and junk foods are much easier to source, can oftentimes be cheaper as well. But the healthy fruits and vegetables and proteins are the items that our, our bodies were made for and the items that many of our students and families just don't have access to. Normally there are 250 volunteers packing each day, but the snow last night meant only staff members today. But they plan to catch back up tomorrow with additional volunteers. The demand for meals they provide is only going up. Food prices have skyrocketed over the last couple of years, and affordability has just not been there for many families. And so we continue, unfortunately, to see that need increase. If you want to learn how you can volunteer tomorrow, we've included a link in this story on woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.